Heads up, I don't have a, a speech, so I'm launching into my questions right now, so get ready to answer them. Um, with regards, uh, General Milley, with regards to the November 11th unsigned, unclassified signed order, whose signature was on that order? Uh, former President Trump. Okay, and then two days, uh, six days later, that was rescinded after correct. discussion. Is that correct? Correct. Um, and were the uh, what were the top three concerns with that particular um, order? Well, the uh, instruction had two lines. Line one was uh, withdraw all force U.S. military forces from Somalia by 31 December. Second sentence was uh, withdraw all U.S. military forces from uh, Afghanistan by 15 January. Uh, so I went over and spoke uh, okay. to the White House, um, had some conversations with some folks, not the president. Sure. Um, and we discussed the cost, risk, benefit, et cetera, and the feasibility, acceptability, and suitability of that order. Okay. All right. Thank it you. Was, was, was that the first time? Uh, well, I'll ask uh, Secretary Austin. In the, in the last 20 years, um, given the history of, in Afghanistan, is that the first order at all that's come out? Um, asking for a withdrawal? Did we have withdrawal plans or withdrawal orders at all in the last 20 years uh, from Afghanistan? Uh, absolutely. As you know, we, we increased our, fo our, our footprint in Afghanistan over time, and then we... Uh, and shrunk it, but that's, uh, but that's but not... Not that's a not complete withdrawal. Not complete withdrawal. Yeah. That's different. I'm talking about zero. Right. Down right. to zero. So, and Correct. Just, this would be the first time then? Uh, this November 11th order would have been the first ask for a withdrawal to zero. That's to, your, to your knowledge. To my knowledge. Sure. Within the DD. Okay. From, from the president or, or anything. Got it. From any president, I should say. Thank you. Um, just trying to get timelines set. Uh, and this relates to General, for General McKinsey. You talked about the 2,500, um, the recommendation, the discussion you had about 2,500 uh, troops. Was that for a particular set of missions, and did those missions change? Therefore, that 2,500 became 650, became zero? So when we looked at the 2,500 number, yeah. uh, we were looking at a force that would have the ability to do very limited advise assist at a, at a high level, assist in logistics management for the Afghans, but it would have been functioning at a very high level. So that was the force that we wanted to continue to keep on the ground. Uh, as we went down to, as we looked at going down to 650, you get a force that is almost exclusively built around the ability to defend the embassy and the airfield and provide entry level uh, logistics to the Afghans. By that, I mean a package comes into the airport, you give it over to the Afghans, they drive it away, and you have no way to track what happened. Yeah. We lost that capability. Yeah, we but, 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 but based on the civilian leadership saying, this is what the civilian leadership wants to do. Now you, you get to, and I, I know, I, and I know not, you're not arguing this point. You just, you make the recommendations, giving your best advice, and then civilian leadership has the opportunity to say thank you. And but here's what I, I would rather be doing. That, that's absolutely correct. So, so the mission changed. The mission fundamentally changed when we, if you, if going going to zero means you're going to reduce all your capability to do any kind of real on-the-ground work, even at a truncated level with the Afghan forces. You're, be, you're going to be talking at the ministerial level, at the very highest levels of government only, and you're not going to have any real visibility about what's going on on the ground. Yeah, General Milley, did you want to try to address that? I did. I just wanted to clarify one thing. The, the 11 November order is actually not the first one. The first one's the Doha Agreement, which directs going to zero by 1 May. The 11 November order is an accelerated withdrawal to bring it to zero by 15 January. So two different yeah, structures. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I um, appreciate that. Um, the, uh, I'll just, uh, for the record, I'll ask this question because then it, this gets to kind of follow on to all of this, um, is what are, how do you define over the horizon capabilities? And like, what are those specifically? And how would we execute those? And we're going to explore that a little bit more probably here today. Sir, I'll be prepared. Uh, we have I'll, five, 15 seconds. So I just I'll be prepared to talk a little bit about it today. But I think more, more importantly, I'll be prepared to come over at the direction of the secretary and provide a classified briefing. I think it would be very helpful. And there may be an opportunity in the future to travel to the region and 
here directly what it looks Thank like on the ground. With the chairman's permission, sir, I would, I would offer that uh, uh, briefing by uh, General McKenzie along with uh, Joint Staff representation and we, my policy people we, as well. Yeah, we, we will definitely be following up on, on, on that. I mean, the issue of what we do going forward to deal with the counterterrorism threat out of South Asia is something this committee has already looked at and will continue to look at for a very long, very long time. Mr. Turner is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I serve on both the House uh, 